Hello everyone, I'm Gita. I'm going to explain our study about economic dispatch optimization using Lagram multipliers as merit order strategy for 10 month power plant in Java and Sumatra. There are several factors that have to fulfill by the power generation and distribution to win power system industry competition, such as reliability, effectiveness, safety, quality, efficiency, and economy. One of important issues on power system industry is economic dispatch problem because it's strongly connected with the power production cost. There are several methods to approach the economic dispatch problem. First, lambda iteration method, the fastest and most effective to solve simple economic dispatch problem. But this method cannot handle non-monotonically and discontinuous incremental cost. Second, meta heuristic techniques. This technique can solve for non monotonically and discontinuous incremental cost, but there are several disadvantages of this method. First, whole field neural network that needs a selection of appropriate weighing factors for energy function and require a lot of computational burden to obtain an optimal solution. Second, simulated annealing that has difficulties to setting the control parameter and slow convergence speed. Third, genetic algorithm that has slow convergence that near the global optimum and sometimes may be trapped into the local optimum. Fourth, a voluntary programming that has long simulation time. And the last is particle swarm or optimization that has difficulties in reaching a global optimum and suffer from premature conflict and control parameters. Third, hybrid method. This method can solve meta heuristic drawback using the combination of meta heuristic technique such as HAPSO, HKBSO, and etc. But this method has a slower processing time. There is a study that used Lagrange multiplier method for the Genebonto thermal power plant, and the result gives that 4.5% of overall cost saving. Because of that, we want to try to implement the Lagrange multiplier method to solve the economic dispatch problem for Tanjung Awar Awar power plant in Java and Tanayan power plant in Sumatra. There are several factors that affected the cost optimization of power generation. First, fuel cost. Second, startup cost. Third, operating efficiency of run over. And the last is transmission cost. PN or the, tot or the total generation uh, power is the sum of the system load power requirement and the transmission losses. And figure 1 show us the configuration of multiple generators supplying the load. The input-output characteristic of the generator describes the relationship between the fuel input and the output produced by the generator. The optimization of the plant operation could be achieved by discovering the differences in the power plant characteristic. The second order polynomial function is used to approximate the input output characteristic of the thermal generator that expressed by the equation 1. The heat rate curve plus the heat energy required per megawatt hour of generated electrical output for the generator as a function of the generator's megawatt output. The heat rate curve indicates the efficiency of the unit over the operating range. The fuel cost curve specifies the cost of fuel use per hour by generating unit as the function of unit's megawatt output. And this is a monotonically increasing contract function. The economic operation of the power plant must meet two constraints. First, equality constraint, that is power balance limitation, which requires that the total power generated by each generator must be equal to the total number of load requirement and transmission losses, and it can be expressed by equation number two. 
taken in equality constraint require that the output power of each unit is greater than or greater than or equal to the minimum allowable power and less than or equal to the maximum allowable power that can be expressed in the equation number three. Economic dispatch is an attempt to determine the amount of power that must be supplied from each unit of generators to meet specific loads to minimize the operating cost of generation with operational parameter constraint. The effective method to solve the economic dispatch problem is the Lagrange multiplier method. The total cost of fuel input from each plant can be expressed in the equation number 4 and the total demand is equal to the sum of the generated output or it can be say the quality equality constraint that can be expressed in the equation number 5 or number 6 and for the Lagrange function it can develop in the equation number 7 and by rearrange uh, the equation 6 to an uh, equation number 7 we can get the equation number 8, where the lambda is the Lagrange multiplier factor. Equation number 7 is generator's output function, an optimum condition that can be obtained by doing the Lagrange equation equal to 0. Because of that, we can get the equation number 9 and number 10. Equation number 10 is the requirement to get the minimum operating cost condition for all thermal units within a power system. From the total cost of fuel input from each plant in equation 4, the lambda can be expressed as equation number 11 and 12. The second condition for optimal dispatch can be expressed as the equation number 13 and 14. By rearrange and combining equation to solve the lambda using equation number 12, then the PA can express as equation 15 and uh, 16 and the last is 17. The power output of any generator should not exceed its rating nor be below the value for stable boiler operation because generator have a minimum and maximum real power output and the Kuhn-Tucker condition uh, expressed in the equation number 18 till 20. This study used two coal-fired power plants with different load dispatch center to simulate economic dispatch. First, we using Tanjung Awar Awar coal-fired power plant with a power capacity of 2 times 350 megawatt that located in Java. And the second, we use the Nyan Coal Fire Power Plant with a capacity of 2 times 110 megawatt that located in Rio Province, Sumatra. PLN Power Plant located in Java and Bali Island, such as Python, Indramayu, Tanjung Awar Awar, Muara Tawar, Tanjung Jati, Gresik Prati, and others, are already connected to the Java Bali 500 kilo, kilo for interconnection network with Java Bali Control Center or P2B Java Bali in the Tanru Chinera. Meanwhile, the Nyan Coal Fire Power Plant B on Load Dispatching Center in P3B Sumatra. In the study, for the generator that have the same technology in the same location, the comparative operation and maintenance variable cost can be simplified become the fuel cost and maintenance cost. The full cost that used in the study referred to the ministerial decree number 255.k slash 30 slash mpm and slash 2020 regarding the fulfillment of domestic will need 2020 by Minister of Energy and Mineral Resources on 29th December 2020. And the value was set at 70 USD per ton FOB with a GAR value of 6,322 kilocalorie per kilogram and total mixture about 8%, total sulfur about 0.8% and as about 15%. 
Price correction calculation are also provided for different caloric values. And for same generator location, the logistic cost will certainly be the same. So it doesn't need to be included in the comparison factor. The first step to calculate the minimum operating cost condition is define the cost quadratic function of its power plant that formulated from the performance test data. The variation of power demand simulation is using to show the optimum power dispatch of for each generation. The tool that used in this study to perform the Lagrange multipliers model simulation is Python. This slide shows us uh, the table 1 that economic dispatch simulation in Tanjung Awar Awar power plant with variation power demand. And table 2 show us the economic dispatch simulation in Tanayam power plant with variation power demand. Table 1 uh, show us the generator 1 of Tanjung Awar Awar power plant will be dispatched with maximal unit capacity for its power demand simulation. It means that the general one of Tanjung Awar Awal power plant is more efficient and economical than generator 2 Tanjung Awar Awal power plant. From table 2, we can see that the power dispatch for generator 1 of Tanayam power plant is higher than the general 2 Tanayam power plant, which means that general 1 of Tanayam power plant is more efficient and economical than generator 2 of Tanayam power plant. For the conclusion, for the result of the economic dispatch can be different between the generators in the same power plant location because the generator has different characteristics. The study showed that generator 1 of Tanjung Awar Awar power plant is more economical and efficient than generator 2 of Tanjung Awar Awar power plant. And generator 1 of Tanaya power plant also has higher efficiency and more economical than generator 2 of the Nyan power plant. Economic dispatch optimization simulation gives a recommendation to management about the power plant economical load configuration to be dispatched. It also gives its unit a rank in the same power plant location by considering the production cost. The cost productive function of each generator has to be updated periodically to get an accurate result, the other losses should be added to the calculation to get the result nearly the real condition such as uh, transmission losses. And the result of this study confirmed that the fuel cost can be minimized by performing economic dispatch using Lagrange multiplier method. That economic dispatch optimization is recommended for each power plant to get efficient load configuration so the plant can be run in the lowest cost production. Okay, that's the explanation about our study. Thank you.